Hi, welcome back to Dolphin Roundhouse. Well, that's what I was gonna say won't make sense, so I won't say it. Yeah. Plus, I forgot what I was gonna say. Maybe so. you can sneak it in in the editing. That must have been if I remember good. correctly. Aphrodite, 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 Aphrodite. The god of Go the talk power. to Ares. Ares! Here I am. Keep going to make that God of War reference. Yep. Are we, um, recording again? No, yeah, we've been yeah. recording. Oh. Sorry if I didn't tell you, my bad. Butterfly ball! Okay. Perish with the rest of your kin. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ares has a thing for uh, the incarnation of night in this game. <sighs> Thanks, Ares. Because you keep, Ares. Bringing... You keep so bringing it up. Yeah, I down <laughs> Yep, that's the one. There we go. Yeah. There they are. Oh, you know what? I'll let Marcy answer that one. Keep getting texts from my mom. Just put it in the group chat so I'll just let Marcy deal with that. It's like a curse of drowning, but not. Okay. Hey, Brianna, put in Af put in a picture of Aphrodite, a preferably a closed one, with an afro. Photoshopped on. Or edit it on. Slap, slap an afro on her. Afro divey. Yep. Cause that's the first time someone's made that joke. It definitely it's isn't. Not, I know you're being sarcastic, but like, it definitely isn't. I know it's not, cause uh, right Marcy used to watch a lot of Disney Channel, and there was a show called uh, Ant Farm. They're doing a because they lost the rights to do the play Grease, they decided to do a parody uh, play called Grease, as in G R E. Oh, it's oh, okay. That's actually really funny. <laughs> yeah. And, and one of the Afro jokes was like, "How about instead of Aphrodite puts on an Afro wig, we have Aphrodite." <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put that up. Put in a picture of that, Peter Brianna. I'll see if what I can do. I was never into the Disney Channel shows. I just watched them with Marcy was watching them because she was usually in control of the TV. <laughs> she used to usually got... Well, she had a TV in her room, plus she'd always usually get to the TV in the shared room first. Of course, I had a TV in my room as well, but you know, whatever. <laughs> yep. I need to make up for replacing Athena's boon with Ares, so I'm doing the Athena boss fight room. Please be Asterius. Yo! I was a Cartoon Network kid. And a Nickelodeon kid. Only for the cartoons. And also drinking Josh Nets at Classified occasionally. I, I kinda liked iCarly. I kinda liked it too. It's not one of my- not one of the- uh, if it was on, I'd watch it, basically. Same with, uh, Drake and Josh and Ned's Declassified. Of course, I really liked Ned's Declassified. That one was hilarious. <laughs> I kind of have, have kind of an embarrassing story about involving iCarly. Okay. I, uh... So, uh... Our first flat CTV, um... I was, like... I, I tried to get... I tried to get in the show, like, into the show, like, literally, by just... <laughs> I, I kinda... Did you try to run head first into the TV? Actually, I turned my back to the TV and then... Sh and then jumped... <laughs> and then jumped over to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just slammed. Just slammed head first. Uh, <laughs> in the name of Hades. <laughs> Dad says he didn't know that's how it happened. <laughs> well, I got a boon from Athena back. It's kind of embarrassing. 
butt looking. But, uh, Did you get beat yeah. I didn't get beaten for it, thank goodness, but, uh, I think I may have gotten a concussion. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> thank you, Dad. Thank you for your input, Dad. I mean, since you shared an embarrassing story, I might as well show. Well, two now, because I just remembered another one that wasn't even that embarrassing, but the first one pretty much is. Sure. Uh, as a kid, I just kind of did. Just random things, cause why not? Cause that's most kids, they just do whatever, cause whatever. Um, so... We had this tall tree in our front yard that had like a tree house under, underneath the tree. <laughs> it was built around the tree. Uh, so I would... Instead of going into the tree house, I would climb up the tree. And just hang out in the tree. Which is funny cause I'm terrified of heights now. Um... I've got something similar to that, where it's like, I'm afraid of heights, but I'm also like one of the tallest people in my family. And so it's just <laughs> like, wow, you're so tall, and I'm like, yes, it's terrifying, please help. <laughs> I think you can me. Oh, oh, I, um, I remember it. Anyway, did you bring it up? Uh, yeah, but, uh, so one day, because I forget, I think I was like watching a cartoon and I saw someone bungee jumping. In the cartoon, so I'm like, that looks like fun. So, me, being an idiot kid, <laughs> took Marcy's jump rope, uh, tied it, tied it to the back of my pants, like in the belt loop, and then tied it. Oh. Then climbed up, climbed up a to one of the, the climbed up the tree and tied it to a branch, and then by the time I was about to jump, I'm like. I'm too scared to jump, so I'm I glad, didn't jump. I'm glad you were able to stop. So instead I played Mountain Climber, where I just took the rope and climbed up and down using the rope. And then when I was done, uh, this is the embarrassing part, I tried to get myself unhooked, but I could not get the I could not get myself untied. So I was just in the front yard of my house, with my pants tied to a tree, crying. Aww. Because I couldn't get my my uh, belt look up, loop on hooked. And so my mom comes out, looks at me with a look of shame in her, on her face. It's like, what have I done? How did I not <laughs> raise you to be better than this? Oh no. And so she walks out, looks at me, goes back in the house, hands me a pair of scissors, and then just walks back in the house. You got yourself into this mess, you can get it out. And me being an idiot instead of, uh, again, an idiot kid, instead of cutting the jump rope, I cut my belt loop. Oh no. And apparently I cut pair of the, uh, I cut part of the pants as well. And neither oh. my mom or me noticed, because like, a week later at school, I wore those same shorts. And apparently I had a hole in my shorts and everybody could see my underwear. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh. I, I don't know if Parker has any embarrassing stories to himself that he remembers, but I, I kind of have a pretty funny one. But he was really little back in Ohio, well, back when I lived in Ohio. Uh, he sort of, he just sort of wandered into into our house one day, and I think mom or dad, and my parents were, and dad was like, did your parents know you're here? And, he, and Parker, he was just like, no. And so we had to walk him home. No, I remember this. I remember another variation of this story. I must have done it a lot because I was a lonely kid, but one time I was like, my parents were watching a movie in the basement or something, and I mm -hmm. just had a bowl of cereal, and I just walked across, like, down the down the neighborhood and into, like, one of my dad's friend's houses, and I was just like, well, hey, because he was, like, the bishop at my church and whatever, and I was like, hey, yeah. and he was like, does Mark know you're here? And I'm like, uh, no. He's like, you should go back home before I already tell them. And as I go home, he told the, as he went out, as I went home, he told them, and they were like, oh man, why did you do that? And I was like, I don't know, I was lonely. Aww. You're not so lonely anymore now. 
Yo, it's the it's the it's the cool guy. Oh, yep. Bye, cool guy. Time to go fight the dudes again. Not gonna talk to him. Or uh, he's too already, cool for us to talk to, talk to him. him. You can only talk uh, to him was, once. I uh, okay. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. The other story was we were staying in a nice hotel in Mexico, uh, and. <laughs> To get to the beach, they had this a uh, really big glass door, and there's and it was super clean. And as a kid, I thought it was I thought it was open, but I, I was so excited to get to the beach. I started running full force, uh, slammed into the door, and then got then slammed onto my back and knocked the wind out of myself. Wow. And then the hotel staff kept asking me if I was okay. Cause they saw me get run into the door and then boom onto my back and hit my head on the ground. I was fine, just a little shocked and embarrassed. Yeah, when we're kids, y'all. When we're kids, we do stupid things. Yeah. I guess. I guess some things never change. <laughs> Especially my clumsiness. Literally yesterday, as I don't know how I did it, I was walking out um, the master bathroom, and as I was walking out, I somehow sm smacked my head into the towel rack. Don't ask me how I did it. I just did it. That was for you, good shade. Yeah. And as uh, yeah, I, I always tend to say some dumb things too and also sometimes do dumb things. I'm always a no, I've always been a bit I'm somehow both the smartest and dumbest man I know. I mean, for me that's the same thing. I literally uh this one was in high school. Oh, I literally what? Oh I was asking if it was in high school. Oh, this next story is... Oh, I'm so embarrassed by this one. Uh, but it has to be told because I've already brought it up. My, in my art class, I was sitting with this group of girls. And um, they were talking about it, being able to roll their R's. And I'm like, oh, I can do that. And they're like, oh, show us. And I was like put on the spot. And I was trying to think of a word to roll my R's to. Don't ask me to do it, because I'd probably do the same thing. Because I can't think. Um, and what I didn't notice, though, was as I was thinking, apparently I started purring like a cat. Aww. And they were laughing at me. Aww, that's sad. But that, but that's adorable a little. Oh, no, I, didn't real I didn't realize I was doing it until like they started laughing. I'm like, what are you la Oh. I, I can do it. I, I did can. not make friends. I did not make friends with them. I'm not Spanish enough. I, I doubt it, it has well. anything to do with being Spanish, but I just can't roll my R's. I can do it pretty well. Pro probably comes from from listening to a lot of voice lines from Adventures by the Hedgehog version of Robotic. Probably. I've got to give myself a. Uh, all I can do is when I. It's like you know the thing you do for like brass instruments where you gotta like make promotion. your lips flat. That's that's what I do. Just a promotion. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Eggman. No. Eggman is the real. Eggman is the real MVP of that show. <laughs> Uh, I vote robot. <laughs> oh, rock! You brought me a rock? You mean there's more? More what? More enemies. Oh boy. That is not good. Uh oh. Ah. Uh oh. I have oh, I like all these not lasers. Have I kid you not, the, anima the animation reference for Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog actually referred to Eggman, Robotnik, whatever, as animation's sexiest Batman. <laughs> I was barely able to escape out of that. 
Yeah. That was not good. Not good at all. No bueno. I hope there's a blue... Not blue. Blue. No what are your thoughts on that? Here. Parker, what are your thoughts on that? I need there to be a... Uh, AOSPH robot. I am cool back here. No, don't laser me. No, don't laser me. Uh, just keep uh, focused on the game to have a comment on AOSPH Robotnik being referred to internally as animation sex and just that man. <laughs> Brianna finds it funny. It's just I forget. Here to feel completely uncomfortable. No! Oh, this might die here, folks. Oh, yep, here it comes. Death approaches! Yep, death approaches, not in terms of time, just in my stupidity in playing this game. Yep, there it goes. Well, okay, that, so that version that of Eggman. Attempt, really. Yeah. Put it up, future Brianna. I looks just... like Pinhead. He looks like Pinhead Larry. Who <laughs> <laughs> you call Pinhead? I just, I just oh, feel like every. I just feel like every single time, you were born a hundred years after I died. Of course, I want to hear Who everything. Are you cause of death. Pinhead, hedgehog. <laughs> you had a run-in with those nasty satyrs all the way up in the Temple of Sticks, huh? I can't even imagine the sheer agony having their lethal poison coursing through my body. I bring some for you if Why I. Why are you a ha ha? Brought all the way out of Elysium, only to. Oh, end he's here. gone. Your recent efforts have proved useful to this place. Yeah. Uh, Cerberus was guarding the door, and then I died in the Temple Sticks, and so he's still guarding the door. Experience is the greatest. Oh. Oh, your job gets frustrating sometimes, so please remember to take breaks. All right. She's reminding us to take breaks. I love Dusa. Until next time. We'll have to catch up more some other time. I am broke. Yep. Please leave me to my current task at hand. Puppy. Excellent work. He's puppies. Puppy. Best employee of the month ever. Always and forever. I'm not gonna spoil the title. We're all eternity and far beyond. All right. Here's some chef. I mean, some fish for the chef. Or the chef. Here's some chef for the fish. Why is everything with a C Why is everything with a C spelled with an H after the C? I don't know. I think it's kind of funny. I think it's old Greek, if I'm being honest. I have no idea. Nice. So yeah, that was the bow. We got pretty far. It's yep. an average of getting to at least ground level each time. But yeah, uh, boyo. Come on, boyo. Let's Less gabbing, more stabbing over here. Yep. All right. Next time okay. we'll be using the cool gauntlets that Liam and Brianna have both said look like the Infinity Gauntlets. So I guess that's what we're going to be doing next. We're going to become the Mad Titan Talos instead of Thanos. Yep. Oh snap. Oh snap. All right. Dang it. <laughs> Anybody want to uh, have any closing everybody. remarks before we end things off here? Until next time, everybody. Remember to stay jumbo large. Um, jumbo bye. huge. Okay, bye. <laughs>